Every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet has an original point of view. And I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Hey. Give me all your money, nerd. No, please, leave me alone. I said hand it over. Empty your pockets now. What do you want from me? All I have is my lucky penny. Either you give me everything you got, or I'll beat you so hard, you will be paying for your hospital bill. Someone help. I need help. Hell l l l l l l l l l l help. Fine. Have it your way. Hey. What are you doing? What did you say to me? I asked what you were doing to Luis over there. Would you butt out of it? I was asking him for charity. By getting up in his face and threatening him? Look, Luis is mine, and I do the bullying around here. How about I ask you to give me your money? Would that change your mind? Tisk tisk, you failed to fool me, because I don't have any lunch money. Ha! Huh? Not so generous, are you? Well, I'm going to tell everyone of how you dance on the roof in your underwear after class. Hey! I don't frolic on the roof in my undies. I never even do these things. Whatever loser. Man! Who does this guy think he is? Hey everyone. It's Kenwood Perkins the tiny roof dancer in his tighty whities. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh come on. Not this again. I can't believe this. I just got laughed at by the school again. I swear I never dance on the roof naked, that does it. Whoever spread rumors about me is going to pay. I'm going to call Clyde about this. Yo, Kenwood, what's up dude? Are you okay? I am not in a good mood today Clyde. Yesterday, I caught this jerk at school bullying Luz, and tried to confront him, and the next day, I heard word spread that I danced on the roof in my underwear. Dude, you actually danced on the roof of your house without any clothes on? Why didn't you tell me that before? Clyde you don't understand. Everyone was spreading rumors about me before school, and I believe someone started this whole gossip party at school to ruin my reputation. But Kenwood, your reputation is already low. Quit trying to change the subject Clyde. First I witnessed a bully at school. And now I get humiliated in the highest population at school. Oh I get what you're saying now. I witnessed that dude with the mohawk hairstyle talking to everyone about you, and then I saw him shove a student in the locker. Right there. That's who I saw Bully lose. I should have known he started all of this. What is his name? I heard students say that his name is Dimitri Brickhouse. He is a British exchange student from Liverpool. I also heard that he was continuously expelled from his school several times, and that's how he ended up here. Well, Dimitri is so gonna regret spreading rumors about me when I'm through with him. I'm going to settle it with him tomorrow. Meet me outside of the school at 3 p.m. tomorrow. It looks like you are going to set up a fight at school. Don't worry Kenwood, I will be there watching the fight. Thanks Clyde. Make sure you put up posters around the school about tomorrow's fight. Goodbye. Where are you, Kenwood? I got your message. 
Either show yourself or I'll show you how to fight like a man. Oh, it's you. Dimitri Roadhouse. I challenge you to a fight of the bullies. What did I tell you? I said I was gonna tell the school of how you fiddle around on your roof half naked, did I not? Nice try Dimitri. Those are fake news. Also, bullying a student for money can be explained away, but gossiping about me makes you a delinquent. How about you take those words back? You do know that there are two ways you are getting out of here alive. In a body bag, or by defeating me in a fight to the death. You know, only one thing comes up to my mind whenever I hear that. Let me show you right now. What are you gonna do about it, Wimp? <laughs> that is it. <laughs> that was weak. You didn't even kick me that hard. You think that was bad? Well, see if you find this bad. Um, what are you doing, Kenwood? Ah, my clothes. They are soaked. And it smells like gasoline. You will be paying for this, Kenwood. And now, to light the campfire. What? No. Wait. I'm burning. Help. You see that, Dimitri? There's only one bad guy in this school, and that is me. Now if you'll excuse me. I've got to turn myself into the principal for fighting, because I always get in trouble for that. Well, I may have been suspended and grounded for fighting at school, but at least it was worth it, because I showed that bully how it feels to be bullied. Now he will make sure he never does this again. Kenward, drop your clubs, it's time for you to dance on the roof naked as your punishment. But dad, I don't. No buts, ants, or ifs, now go. This is so unfair. Now the rumor that was spread has just now come true. I am so embarrassed.